Hi there, my name is William. Today we're going to be discussing the CR2020. The CR2020 is an industrial design uh, 3D printer from Creality, and unlike its cousins, the CR10 and the Ender 3, it, uh, it features a more in-box design made out of sheet metal rather than the aluminum frames that the CR10S and the Ender 3 use. Now what this does is it results in a very sturdy frame for the CR2020, making it very difficult for your prints to come off base because again, you're very rarely gonna get any shakes or any small uh, tremors causing your print to come off its hotbed. So one of the great innovations for the CR2020 is the fact that it actually has linear uh, steel shafts and linear uh, ball bearings. So I'll turn it slightly like that and what you can see from the top is that the extruder, uh, the extruder actually moves across these axes just like that which makes it a very steady, steady printer. You're very rarely gonna have any trouble with it uh, coming off base because again, this is moving very safely. You're not having to worry about uh, the rubber um, wheels that come with a lot of other do-it-yourself 3D printers. This makes it much more stable when it is printing. Now the CR2020 actually has a very unique power on uh, SNP. <coughs> Now the CR2020 actually has a very unique way that it turns on its power. With most printers, there's just a switch in the back. I'll show you. And like most reality printers, it does have that uh, power switch right there that you can turn off and on. But the CR20 also has, I'll turn it the other way, a unique side button that you can press right there. And what that's going to do is it allow you to turn it off and on more easily. So rather than after you finish a print, having to go all the way back and uh, flip the switch to make sure your printer's off and safe, all you have to do is press that button right there. And as you can see, safely on every single time. So when it comes to actually getting the filament inside the machine, there's a couple extra steps with the CR2020. First, what we do is, as you can see, when the filament starts to enter, the filament sensor will turn on, that light will go on. Just make sure that you know that filament is inside the machine. And then all you have to do is feed it through the Bowden tube, like so. To get to a hard stop like that. Once the tube starts to move around, you want to stop. And what you'll do is you'll turn the machine around. So with your machine turned around, what you're going to want to do is click that center button right there. Go to prepare. Go all the way down to change filament. And then you're going to have a ability to load or unload. It's very important that when you do want to change filament, you always do it through the unload button. And when you want to change filament in, you always go through load. Press it like that, and it will start to load the filament safely into the machine. So with the filament all nice and loaded, you'll notice that it ha uh, the CR2020's direct drive is actually a very short distance. So what you're going to have is um, a much smaller distance between the feeding mechanism and the actual hot end for the filament to travel through, which is fantastic for uh, TPU flexible filament and other specialty fl uh, flexible filaments making it fantastic for um, you know, filaments that aren't necessarily just PLA and ABS, though it very much can print ABS and PLA, um, TPU, POM, and uh, the variety of most common, commonly used filaments. Now I should note that the, though the machine is very large, it does have a build volume of 200 by 200 by 200 mm, millimeters. Um, so it isn't the absolute biggest build volume, but it will print off most small to medium uh, prints with very little issue at all. Now the CR2020 has these fantastic timing belts right at the bottom here. Now unlike most Creality machines, they aren't just made from fiberglass. These have some steel in them, which means it's much less likely to get small tears or breaks in these belts, uh, making it a much more steady and stable machine. 
The CR2020 also has this fantastic little fan at the bottom, which really makes uh, the printing process very even because things will cool off in a very quickly and timely manner. So you have to worry less about distortions during your printing process. So with the bottom taken off, we can see our Meanwell power supply, 24 volts. Fantastic little uh, power supply right there. We have our MOSFET right at the bottom. And what we also have unique to the CR2020 is removable step, uh, stepper motor drivers. So if I take it out like that, you can take out the uh, drive like that and replace them if you, do, if you want to. So if you want to upgrade or otherwise change, you have the ability and capacity to do so with this machine. Now I should note, if you do want to change the stepper motor drivers, you should consult with the makers of said drivers because if you do put them in incorrectly, it will cause a burnout. Uh, so please uh, practice uh, immense caution when changing out the electronic elements if you do wish to do so. Uh, and always consult uh, Creality and the stepper drivers uh, makers to make sure everything is proper and won't cause any lasting damage to your 3D printer. Thank you very much for watching. This has been William from Mech Solutions. If you would like to purchase a CR2020 uh, with or without auto leveling, you can do so at mechestore.com. And if you'd like to check out all our other printers and fantastic filaments and other uh, 3D printing accessories, you can also do that at mechestore.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.